Hi friends, welcome back to Abigail David Holistic Health, where people come to win. So ladies, today this one is for you. We're going to talk about our breasts. So first and foremost, breasts come in all shapes and sizes. We have beautiful breasts, whether it's big breasts, small breasts, medium-sized breasts, long breasts, short breasts. It doesn't matter. Whatever you're blessed to have, be thankful and be very grateful that you actually have the opportunity to celebrate having breasts. Let's first talk about our breasts in relation to fitness. So one of the most frequently asked questions I get is, Abby, how can I increase my breast size or decrease my breast size? So the first thing we're going to do today is talk about the anatomy of our breasts. In this first illustration, what you will see is a more detailed outline of what is inside each and every one of our breasts. In this second illustration, I want you to focus more on the fatty tissue. Look at how much percentage of our breasts is filled with fatty tissue. Which means our body fat percentage will influence the size of our breasts. Fact 1. Breasts come in all shapes and sizes. Some people are blessed to have small breasts, some people are blessed to have medium-sized breasts, some people are blessed to have big breasts. Fact two, we cannot just increase our breast size just like that. Even though there are some circumstances that causes our breast size to fluctuate, such as during pregnancy, because of hormones, because of menopause, because of breastfeeding, because of a hormonal change you might be going through, such as during our period, which causes our breast size to become bigger, a, a lot larger a lot of the times, or sometimes because of birth control that we might be using. And you know we all see there are a lot of workout videos that give you tips on how to make your breast get bigger, exercises you can do to make your breast get bigger, there are exercises you can do to make your breast look quirkier, but where it comes to going from an A cup to a D cup or maybe a D cup to an A cup, there are no breast exercises that can increase or decrease your breast size by that much. Being realistic. We have to be realistic here, right? We're being realistic here, right? If you want to increase your breast size from a small breast cup to a large breast cup, is either you go under the knife, or you invest in a really good push-up bra fact three our breast sizes can change because of our weight remember we were talking about the anatomy and we were talking about the fatty tissues that it have inside of our breasts well when you lose weight your body does not target only weight on your bottom or weight on your legs or weight on your midsection you will lose weight all over your body especially places that they are fat so the people who have less fat tissues are in the breast they tend to lose a lot less weight in their breast when they are losing weight as well if you are gaining weight what happens is your breast size is going to go up because of the fat tissues Even if we have small breasts, medium-sized breasts, or large breasts, we have to wear a proper sports bra during workout because our breast moves around. It moves around and you don't want that over time your breast starts drooping because of gravity, right? There's always a pull. So please always wear a sports bra no matter the size of your breast. Choose a proper sports bra fitted for you and suited for you. Because when they spent a lot of time not wearing the correct sports bra during workout or even wearing the correct bras naturally. Please remember bras are there to help your breasts stay up over time. Yes, it might have a one instant or event you might be going to and you don't, you're don't going braless. Nothing in wrong with that. Eh? But please remember it's not something you're doing consistently because what happens over time is your breast starts to sag and we don't want that. We definitely don't want that. five stop comparing yourself to anybody on social media you are amazing just the way you are but yes you would want to enhance certain things about yourself you will want to enhance your beauty you will want to be healthier you will want to be fitter 
I want you to understand this. Fitness and health is about being active. It's about being in the best shape of your life. It's about making sure that you're healthy and you sustain a proper and healthy life while you're here. We cannot pick where we want to lose weight. We cannot say, you know what, we want to only lose weight on our arms and we don't want to lose no weight on our chest. So we don't want to lose no weight on our legs. We want to lose weight on our bottom. Wherever you have excess fat, your body is going to burn it off. Remember that. You see, sometimes social media put this this portrait this, this way and make us feel like that is the real way that the people have big breasts, small, 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 small waist, and all this bottom with small legs. That is unrealistic. It's not natural. If you see somebody like that, please stop comparing yourself to that person because a lot of times you may not know that person may went under the knife or there is a lot of picture surgery or video surgery involved and it's very serious out here. What you have is very beautiful and it's a blessing. Just understand how to make your breast suit you. So it was my pleasure talking with you all this evening and I hope you all continue to have an amazing life. See you guys soon.